if the strings were cut I'd see my son And if I could just fly From this place Then I'd hold you in my Love embrace We heard the news that um, There was a second attempted break-in at the Ecuadorian Embassy in London on Monday, 29th of October. Okay, so as things stand, Julian is going to be kicked out of the embassy. He's going to be. If we do nothing, he's going to be kicked out of the embassy. It is a fate accompli. We've been told by Rafael Correa the deal was already done. He is going to be kicked out. Um, this week, if you follow Christine Assange on Twitter, you would have seen that they are now even denying Julian food. So Julian's not allowed to have visitors come in to the embassy. They say that he is, but he's not. Nobody's been able to get into the embassy to, to bring him anything, but somehow Julian's supposed to provide his own food. So Julian doesn't have lines of communication, doesn't have visitors or access to his people, but is supposed to somehow come up with his own food. And they have been banning his legal team from accessing him or seeing him. Um, John Kiriakou said that within minutes of Julian being detained by the UK, every US intelligence agency is going to be on a plane to London. They are not going to wait until Julian is extradited to the US to torture and interrogate him. They will do it while he's still in the UK. So this idea that Julian would be somehow benefited by being detained by the UK or extradited to the US is complete and utter nonsense. They want to know about the inner processes and workings of WikiLeaks. They want to know the no they want access to the knowledge that's inside Julian's brain, and they will torture him and they will interrogate him. Um, in order to attempt to get that. You know, at the end of the day, they want to punish him for outing their corruption and their crimes. And they've been waiting eight years to do it. And they will be rubbing their hands together with glee at the prospect of the UK detaining him um, and extraditing him to the USA. So please do not listen to people who tell you it is a good thing for Julian to go to the US. Do not listen to people who tell you Julian should just walk out of the embassy, Julian should just hand himself over. Do not listen to them. These are the narratives that serve empire. These are the narratives that serve the people who are persecuting Julian. The rumor is that either Julian has been indicted in the Eastern District of Virginia, or that a grand jury has been impaneled in the Eastern District of Virginia. The reason why this would be done in the Eastern District, rather than in Washington DC or any in any other district in the country is that the Eastern District of Virginia is known as the espionage court. No national security defendant has ever won a case there, ever. Um, I was tried there, Ed Snowden was charged there, Jeffrey Sterling was charged there. Um, we've all had our cases in the Eastern District of Virginia. There's one judge in particular, uh, Judge Leonie Brinkema, who reserves all of these cases for herself. So she's been the judge for all of us, and we were all found guilty. Beyond that, she made it literally impossible to mount a defense because every time we would motion the court to allow us to declassify information necessary to defend ourselves, she denied the motion. She denied 72 of my motions and approved zero. We were walking out of the courtroom one day, and I said to my attorney, what just happened? And my attorney said, we just lost the case. That's what happened. Well, Julian is looking at the same kind of outcome. If, exactly. if he is forced out of that embassy and extradited to the United States, he will not, he cannot get a fair trial. It's impossible because the deck is stacked and everybody knows what's going to happen if he comes back to the Eastern District of Virginia. This is the same advice I gave Ed Snowden. Don't come home because you can't get a fair trial here. Julian doesn't have the choice. And that's what frightens me even more. We won't have time on our side to, for, to wait for a trial. If Julian is in custody, 
you know, a trial, a trial will be a show trial, as Christina Sam said, but it will also, it will take years to even manifest at all. Um, this is a fight for Julian's life now. This is a fight for his life and we can't afford to lose it. We really can't afford to lose it.